Hello and welcome. This is Rufelmonger. So fighting game characters. Let's talk about them. They come in all sorts of professions with all sorts of motivations. From martial artists looking for vengeance, to a mercenary who fights for his friends, to powerhouse grappler who has an unreasonable obsession with sharks. They come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. And in this installment of the Ridiculous Characters of Fighting Game History, we are going to be talking about QB from Darkstalkers. So first and foremost, the Q in QB does indeed stand for Queen, just so you know. Uh, just like T-Hawk, QB is a little bit mysterious like that. Now, what is QB besides sexy anime Lady B? Well, QB is a Soul B, which is certainly a whole magnitude different than your regular old Honey Bee. See, a soul bee likes souls, and they are all about collecting them despite what your protest otherwise might be. For the most part, a soul bee only is concerned with two things, eating souls and reproducing, and that is about it. QB herself is not inherently an evil character despite, you know, chomping up people pretty good, uh, but due to the fact that QB is always hungry and always looking to expand the hive, people are going to get got. Now, before we dive into some of the bigger particulars about the character, I just want to show what the character is about in the actual gameplay, because I find that's just as crazy as a lot of her features. Uh, Darkstalkers is a series with some of the most inventive characters in the history of fighting games, period, period, period. Darkstalkers characters are dripping with style. Just for QB's basic stuff, she has like a little bit of honey dust going around every time she moves. All sorts of stingers and talons. That stand medium punch, by the way, is one of the best stand mediums ever. <laughs> uh, but yeah, she's just full of life. She summons bees. Of course she is. She's the queen of the bees, right? And the bees also, if they manage to hit the enemy, do fall over and die. Because, you know, hey, they lost their stinger, right? So I find that kind of funny. Well, funny in the animation sense, not that they died, you know. No one wants bees to die. What QB is also queen of besides soul bees is mobility. So back in the day, uh, air mobility and all that kind of stuff wasn't the same as it is in a lot of modern fighting games. But uh, QB was a master. She could float. She had air dashes. Uh, air dash went straight down, by the way. So she was basically the progenitor of the instant air dash. Uh, the triangle jump, if you want to call it, like instant overhead offense. QB was a complete master at it as she can be like a frame or two off the ground and then hit you with that instant overhead and good luck blocking because you know also hey she can just hit you low right so her offense through her mobility options was unparalleled also a wide suite of moves especially using you know her natural B features using that big old hornet sting that is a command grab and fun little fighting game specific fact uh, the command grab had no whiff animation so if you whiff the command grab you just got her awesome stand medium instead so hey it was like win-win basically she could also just go for it and stab you with her butt multiple times. Also, one of the most absurd moves in fighting game history, as you can see right here. So she injects you with the stinger and like plants, I guess, a baby in you. And then she goes off and dies on the spot. And in this cocoon, a new QB is born. And then you play the match as that QB. Uh, in Mortal Kombat 11, Vivora has like a similar kind of fatality, but it's still not as crazy as that. QB can also toss honey at her foe, and the honey is very sticky and leaves you in a stuck state. And being the queen, QB can just summon the hive and have at you, just getting stung by a ton of bees. Now that we have talked about the tools of the trade, what about QB herself? Well, obviously, hey, she's kind of a big bug lady, right? Uh, has a lot of uh, bug features, as you can see here, big old antenna, big old bee butt, and all that kind of stuff. But there is a lot more at play here. So if you look at the big orbs on her head there, right by the antennas, the secret about that is those are her actual eyes. The eyes you see on the face, that is for show. That is a, straight up a deception. The whole cute face thing is 100% just a trick. That is not a real face. Uh, maybe it's to lure people into false sense of security or lure people into her grasp, whatever it may be. The eyes on the head are the real deal and the face is all a show. So as for her background, QB lives in the land of the Makai. That is kind of one of the big parts of the Darkstalker setting. Uh, think of it like a demon realm kind of deal, except with a lot of internal strife and internal politics. Uh, so the soul bees themselves lived in a very specific part of the Makai realm on Jeddah Doma's 
basically his estate. And uh, Jetta, if you already know, then hey, you already know. But if you don't know, Jetta is a pretty important character in the Vampire Savior Dark Soccer series. Uh, most recently, he was actually in the Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite game. Before the plot of Darkstalkers 3 happened, uh, Jet has been dead for a very, very long time. He gets uh, resuscitated, revived, whatever you want, and after he is revived, the Soul Bees start coming back in a big way because Jetta has made a whole new realm, and in that whole new realm, there's a lot more souls, and thus a whole new opportunity for the Soul Bees to kind of ply their trade. And basically, with that, QB goes forth, and is out to collect souls. It's not too complicated. Uh, it's not the highest level art to be sure, as you know, hey, there's not much motivation past that. Now, uh, QB is very loyal to Jetta, what we're living on this state, and is stated that pretty much would do anything for Jetta, has spied for him, has worked for him, all that kind of stuff, and just search for more souls, because Jetta, wherever Jetta is, there's probably a good amount of souls to harvest. However, um, QB, definitely more prey to our hunger than anything else, so if you actually manage to beat the game with QB, uh, the alliance with Jetta kind of goes up in flames really quick. And the need to, you know, get souls, you know, constantly reproduce, kind of playing against their own better interest, and it is stated pretty plainly here in this ending that, you know, they basically will take over the whole demon realm, and in doing so, they'll eat themselves to extinction. Uh, because they just can't control their hunger, and that's basically the end for the Soul B race, uh, just taking everyone else out along with them. And as for the plot end of things, that's about it. Unfortunately, there's not too much more than that. Uh, Darkstalkers 3 slash Vampire Savior is the only game QB has really ever appeared in in a fighting game since. Other Darkstalkers characters have appeared in other fighting games like uh, you know Marvel vs. Capcom, Capcom vs. SNK, Tatsunoko vs. Capcom, uh, but QB has never been one of them and hopefully in a future game QB would be a very interesting pick because she has a very interesting moveset. She has a very aggressive rushdown style, which a lot of people love to be sure, and especially with a lot of air dashing and triangle jumps, she'd be perfect for a versus game, but she also has like a solid neutral, solid footsies plan, and she's just cool, like, there's not a lot of characters that do as many neat things visually as QB does, so she'd be perfect if they ever wanted to do another versus game. And just for some final tidbits on the character here, so QB and the Soul Bees basically kind of work like a normal bee population would, uh, male, female bees, hive structure, all that. Uh, there's more female bees than male bees, and uh, one of the story bits is basically uh, the soul bee can like basically reproduce asexually, and the male bee is kind of on its way out. There won't be much need for a male soul bee too much longer. And there is also the shocking secret. Uh, so in many fighting games, not just Dark Soccer, Street Fighters, one, tons of other ones, I'm sure I'm not thinking off the top of my head. If you get electrocuted, if you get shocked, right, they'll always do a neat little fun animation where, hey, oh my god, the guy's getting shocked, here is the skeleton. But QB has a dark secret in this regard. So when QB herself is shocked, what appears instead of a skeleton is it would be a little QB basically controlling a puppet suit. Uh, instead of just the usual skeleton everyone else has. So the logic, I suppose, would be this, that QB is... Basically, just a tiny bee controlling a much bigger body kind of hang with everybody else. Uh, it doesn't have any story relevance, doesn't have any plot relevance, but it is there, and uh, there's a lot of gags in Dark Soccer's to be sure, right? But it's interesting, and maybe if she's ever in a further game, that could be expounded upon. And my friends, that is the ridiculous history of QB. Uh, lovely character, once again, I love the Darkstalkers franchise. I could make a whole series just on Darkstalkers characters alone. Once again, I know I said earlier in the video, but Darkstalkers characters are some of the most cool and inventive characters, period, ever. I, I can't talk them up enough. They're so good. And with that said, hey, if you like this uh, installment, let me know. This is the second video in the series. First one I did on Bridget on Guilty Gear. And if you want to see more of these styles of videos, please, please, please let me know. And if the interest is there, I will make more and continue on with the series. But otherwise, my friends, I guess that is the end of this video. So, hey, thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has found you well. And go out and play some fighting games.